So Horse Feather started in 2009. I started an Etsy shop, started selling jewelry on there that I was making with Lamport glass beads. And then um, a couple months into that, um, my mom got laid off. And so we decided to kind of jump in full time and figure out what we could do to make this our actual job in life. Well, she really started long before that because I would buy pony beads and all the small bead kits and that's all she ever wanted to do. And from the time she was like 12, she was convinced that she was gonna have her own business. And uh, so I kept her very entertained with all those types of crafts and uh, um, we decided to make it a full-time job. And so we went with it and it's been crazy ever since. <laughs> In 2011, we opened our first store. In 2014, we moved over to where our current location, which is on Main Street in Henderson, Kentucky. And now we have about 5,000 square feet. Um, we have now an entire floor just dedicated to our storefront and then two floors of studios. So we're in a three-story building. We called it Horse Feathers because we just wanted a name where people would see it and think, well, what the heck is that? Like, what did they do? What's in there? You know, we were doing craft shows back in the day, um, just had a little booth set up, get a big old banner with horse feathers on it, and people come over. I mean, we've got people from, you know, little kids up to 90-year-old men coming over, still coming in our store asking, well, I just wanted to know what horse feathers was. So that really, that's all we wanted. We just wanted people to think, what the heck is that? <laughs> and then come find out, and it works really well. I, before we got the store going, she called me one day and she said, um, I'm going to try to fill out this form. We're going to be a green business. All of our uh, metal pieces are made from recycled materials and we just kind of wanted to incorporate that more into everything that we did. So we thought being certified would be a really, really good way to um, give us like a game plan on how to become more eco-friendly in all of our all of our ways. So everything um, in the studio is recycled. We recycle as much as we can. We don't really let anything go to waste. We use, you know, eco-friendly packaging and we try to recycle everything we can and re repurpose, you know, all of our desks and stuff we'll go get that are used or I, I literally find things on the side of the road and bring it in and patch it up and either paint it or we scuff it up a little bit more and make it work. But then we have people come in and, you know, they're just, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? So. We um, recycle all of our metal scraps. Um, they get sent off and melted down to be reused. Um, the metal clay that we use is completely recycled, just as any materials that we can possibly incorporate. All of our um, packaging down to our business cards, our bubble mailers, our gift boxes, everything is recycled. Everything we get anything printed on is recycled, so. We make a little bit of everything. The main focus on horse feathers is jewelry. We specialize in inspirational and meaningful jewelry. So the inspirational products, we have um, different quotes and sayings, just kind of, you know, to add a little extra inspiration into different, um, into people's daily lives and things like that. Our um, meaningful jewelry is all hand stamped pieces. So each letter, a lot of people see it and think it's engraved, but actually we stamp each individual letter onto the metal um, with a little, little steel stamp and a little hammer. Uh, but we do like kids' names and anniversary dates and, um, you know, little special phrases that maybe is like a little inside thing between people, um, just kind of to give it a little more personal, meaningful connection uh, on the jewelry and things like that. Uh, our biggest seller is mood rings that we just started doing about two years ago. Um, and those took off like crazy. Um, and then we do silk wrap bracelets. And those are really unique because the silk ribbon is completely hand dyed and handmade. And then uh, my mom makes the metal pieces that are on there that have our inspirational sayings or symbols. Um, and so those are just, that's kind of our specialty is our silk wrap bracelets, just because they're so new, unique to our brand and they're so colorful and we love color. <laughs> love us some color. A lot of the pieces, um, I don't think people will realize how much it's like both of us and then um, Carrie that works up here too. Um, we design a lot of the, the pieces on the computer and then we make our molds for them and everything and then she makes the final piece. I make the silver and I make the bronze from a, a clay form and also from the wire. Um, I beat on it, torch it, hammer it. So I like to work with the, that side of it where she likes to put the creation together. So she kind of just points me in the direction of make me this or hey look at these see if we can do this and I go to work with the hammer and the torch and see if I can make whatever it is she comes up with because she kind of can throw me some curves sometimes but I, I try to go with it and get as close as we can. 
and then it comes back to us, and then we assemble and ship them and everything. So it's kind of a, everybody's involved in the same things for the most part. There's a lot of things that, um, you know, just me and Carrie do up here making things that then we, like riveting, if we need something riveted, we have to go to her, or if we need a hole drill bear, then we go down to her. So like a lot of the pieces are, are really, you know, involved three people just to get your piece made for you. More or less if there's electronic tools in any way. Or, or fire, key. like yeah, you don't fire. want me, uh-uh. <laughs> Um, and then I make um, a lot of the different pieces, like our beaded pieces. We have a lot of gemstone um, stacks and bracelets and things like that that I really enjoy working with. I really like gemstones, mainly because they're colorful. She gets to deal with what I want to say is the boring part because it's all of the, the metals that aren't very pretty and I'm like up here with all the colorful beads and Let's see, I have to like disagree. That. It's not the boring <laughs> part because she has me come up here and wants me to like thread little bitty beads on a string. She wants to pull I her hair out. I want to pull my hair out. I said, give so me a hammer out. and a torch and let me beat on something. So, yeah. yeah. She's like my best friend, so it's most people don't have that sort of relationship with their parents. We're like best friends and we always have been. And so when we got into the business adventure, um, you know, a lot of people said, you won't be able to do this. You know, family can't work with each other, but we do. We do really good and we have a really good relationship and we have a lot of fun.